In the words of Eric Bischoff's WWE theme, I'm back and better than ever. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam. I am back from vacation and I have finally seen Jurassic World Dominion. This was directed by Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World and what was supposed to be The Rise of Skywalker, but that did not end up happening. But the movie is the conclusion of the Jurassic World trilogy. Thank God! Well, Jurassic World is back. This time around, the characters from the Jurassic World trilogy and the characters from the Jurassic Park trilogy meet for a, well, Star Trek Generations type movie in which there is another evil corporation that is trying to use dinosaur DNA for something or other, this time involving making gigantic locusts and in a convoluted way of trying to control the food chain. That was a bit ham-fisted, but that's pretty much what the movie is about. I have made no secret that I am not a big fan of the Jurassic World movies. Check out this video above if you would like more information on that. I think that these movies were just... not good. Like, not good at all. And in that sense, I was not looking forward to this movie at all, and the reviews that I saw definitely were proving me right in my suspicion as to how they were going to end this. Now that I have seen the movie, here is my... here is my opinion. The movie's fine. The biggest compliment that I can give to this movie is that the action scenes are genuinely very well done. It looks like they did some actual stunts, which if that is the case, then good job on the stunt team. Hopefully they were well compensated for that. The best scene in the movie is an action scene involving a dinosaur underground, or a black market, if you will. That whole scene was, was the best of the movie by a country mile. Chris Pratt, I'm so happy to see him in this because he is genuinely my favorite person in this whole trilogy. People like to give a lot of hate towards Chris Pratt because he had the temerity to be a Christian. I'm sure that makes sense to somebody, but here he actually is trying, and he was my favorite character in the movie. Bryce Dallas Howard is good in this as well, and I actually really liked seeing Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. Their roles are kind of limited, but when they were on screen together, I did like seeing them. I've seen their roles in this described as nostalgic cash grabs, and I imagine that they are to a certain degree, but it's not like they were A, disrespected, or B, just there to say, hey, we've got the original cast here. They are at least up to something. They provide some value to this movie. I liked that. I'm glad they went in that direction. Dewanda Wise, who plays a pilot in the movie, is honestly pretty good here as well. I hope she does get more work after this. And when the movie primarily focuses on, well, the clone girl and Blue's uh, child getting kidnapped, that part was actually pretty interesting. It doesn't focus on it that much, though, because there is honestly so much going on with this movie, and I don't know why that's the case. This movie, with trailers, is nearly 2 hours and 45 minutes long. That is way too long for a movie like this. And at a certain point, the pacing just hits a brick wall, and it does not recover. And instead of doing what Fallen Kingdom teased at the end, creating a literal Jurassic World, the movie honestly doesn't even do that. It does some interactions of dinosaurs and people and it not going well for them, but they're really few and far between. Instead, this movie pivots to focus and commentate on giant corporations and, you know, the food supply, and just, I just didn't see the point of any of this. When there was a literal Jurassic World storyline in which dinosaurs and humans are competing against each other to see who has dominion, for lack of a better word, and they don't do it, and it boggles my mind. What also boggles my mind is the fact that this company called Biosyn exists. I was sitting there thinking to myself, so wait, did InGen go bankrupt? Finally? After, like, 
many years of bad decisions where they create NFTs and that was their downfall. The movie never explains where InGen went in all of this. It just, they create Biosyn as like a, it was just there all along. It was like, uh, no, InGen has been the company in these movies for as long as we have known it. And it, it's like they didn't even exist. It just confused me. Even the main villain, it just, I don't know, I just don't know how to feel. Like, the villain is played by Campbell Scott, who I swear to God I thought was being played by by the CEO of Apple, I believe his name is Tim Cook, but it's actually Campbell Scott, who has had a lot of character roles and is the narrator on one of my favorite History Channel miniseries, The Men Who Built America. But here, it's just... Like, why couldn't you have just named it InGen? It just... It's confusing. But like I said, I don't understand why people are getting so angry about this. The Jurassic World was like the first level of hell, and then Fallen Kingdom was like the fifth level of hell, and this, I would have to say, is probably the third level of hell. It's not as bad as before, but we're certainly still in hell. So with that in mind, I am going to give this a forgettable rating. Good action, good acting on the whole. Nice to see the originals back for one more round. But at the end of the day, movie is confusing as to why they went in these directions. And just, generally speaking, just feeling like why they just didn't capitalize on a story that was literally right at their fingertips. Oh, and the clone girl is back, and well, she has teen angst. It is incredibly annoying. I will play this clip until the day I die. You know, a picture is worth a thousand words, but none of those words should be, look at that idiot. <laughs> but what did you all think of Jurassic World Dominion? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to read what you have to say about it. And now that I am back from vacation, I will be seeing Lightyear, and I will be uploading a review as soon as I do see that. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.